Hi friends, welcome back. Actually, in the in in my YouTube channel, I have created one playlist called Financial Tips. In those playlist, we have already discussed how we can make increment in our rate of interest from maybe around four percent the normal interest to FT interest that is six point eight five. Now one good news is heard and it was became seven percent now for one year, not for five years. So if you want to do those things, maybe in SBI, so please try to see in mind. Uh, keep in mind that please put one year, one year to two years, so that you will get seven percent rate of interest. So in this angle, I like to discuss uh, one of the oldest and one of the best. Saving options from Indian Post. So let us discuss uh, how the Indian Post office and uh, how the Indian Post exists and some brief discussion regarding Indian Post. As we are all Indians, we should know our great uh, offices for our thing. And in ancient days, the Indian Post is one of the best communication agent, and this is the oldest and widest. And deepest communication network in India, and let us see some uh, golden facts of Indian Post. Yeah, Indian Post is formed on first October eighteen fifty four, so it's around one sixty more than one sixty years. So this is the regarding our Indian Post. It was formed on first October eighteen fifty four. Next, the headquarters is at uh, Dock Bhavan, Sandak, Sunset Mar, Delhi. Yeah, this is the very good thing. And the, the number of employees are four lakh thirty three thousand four seventeen. Uh, so these results are taken from Wikipedia, and the the result is up to first March two thousand seventeen. After, if any recruitment may be done, then the Number of employees obviously increased. Next, post office. There are one lakh fifty five thousand fifteen post offices existed in India. Now, these things are separated into twenty three post circles. Again, the post circles are divided into regions, and the regions are divided into divisions, and divisions are divided into sub divisions. Okay, these are the Classification of different offices, and this is a very good thing. And one of the highest post offices in the world is Hikkim. It is in Himachal Pradesh, and the height is fourteen thousand five sixty seven feet from the seashore. So that much height, the post office is existing, and still the there is some uh, taking of mails and. So money orders and all these activities has been carried out in those post office also. So this is one of the good thing in India. Yeah, pin code, postal index number. There are nineteen thousand one zero one pin codes available in India. And there is a very big story regarding pin codes also. First digit maybe uh, for region and the, the two di first two digits maybe for division. Subdivision and last three digits for the post office. All these things will be there. Uh, if you are interested, you can go through Wikipedia and maybe in Indian Post uh, website also. I want to share a very important thing here that is saving schemes from Indian Post. Why we need to see saving schemes only from uh, post office or Indian Post? Because it is giving the promising. Rate of interest. That means the rate of interest is almost the constant. Unlike the banks, even the in banks, the rate of interest keep on changing. That depends upon repo or something else. So many factors are there to change the rate of interest. But in post office, almost it will be the constant, and that will be declared whenever you put the amount. Whenever you put the amount, that will be declared on the day only, and those much of amount will. You will get how much amount you will get on the uh, once the amount the sufficient time is completed and 
that will be declared beforehand only. That means whenever you open an account, on that day only you, you can come to know that how much amount you will get. Paka. So, okay, that is the thing. Let us see different uh, saving aspects of Indian Post. Yeah, this is uh, different saving schemes available in Indian Post. Monthly schemes are there. The first scheme is Sukanya Samruddhi scheme. This scheme is for only those who are having girl child. For them, it is opted, and the scheme is very simple. You need to put some amount. The range of amount is also it should not cross 1.5 lakh per year per annum. So 1,000 is per month. If we put 1,000 per month, then we need to keep on doing the same exercise for 15 years, 1.5 years, so that we need to invest the amount 1 lakh 80 thousand rupees. And at the end of 21st year, this scheme will be matured. And that on that day we will get five thousand seventy sorry five lakh seventy eight thousand one seventy five rupees as the complete amount. That means maybe interest interest also added here interest and both both the principal and interest added here and this is the final amount. Okay, I have written amount obtained column. Everything is the final amount. Okay, that I will explain you. So this is the scheme for the Sukhani Samruddhi scheme. The scheme is the rate of interest is 8.5 and we need to invest for 15 years continuously every month and we need after 21st year we will get the amount. Okay, This is the regarding Sukhani Samruddhi scheme and there should be girl child then only it will be opened. Okay, we need to open this account on, I mean, on the name of the girl child. Okay, next coming to recurrent deposit. In the recurrent de deposits are, uh, this is also very popular saving schemes. The rate of interest is 7.1 only, but still uh, it, it will be compounded for every quarter. That means every 3 months or 4 months. And for 5 years, so for 5 years you will get 72,505. Of course, you will uh, invest 60,000, so you will get total amount of 72,505. Okay, this is the thing for recurring deposit. The next thing is public provident fund, and the rate of interest is 8%. We need to, if we save 1000 per month. So we need to save up to 15 years and at the end of the 15th year we will get 3000 sorry 3 lakh 39,947 rupees. So these are the monthly saving schemes. If you have girl child you can go for Sukhani Samruddhi. If you don't have girl child you need to go for a recurrent deposit and public provident fund. And the recurrent deposit is very much popular in so many areas in, in India it's very very popular coming to public provident fund also we can do it and the rate of interest for public provident fund is very good and it is 8% so these are the schemes for post office for monthly schemes and coming to annual I don't uh, think it's an annual scheme it's this is the one time investment so one time you need to put the amount so time deposit so if you have I, I am marking it for 12,000 only. If you have 12,000 in your hand, so you can directly put the same thing in time deposit scheme. So, and you can invest it for 1 to 4 years. Once you have given 12,000, after that, no need to give any amount. So, if you put for 1 to 4 years, for 4 years, you will get 7 rate of interest as 7%. So, for first year, you will get 12,862. For second year it will be more, third year it will be more, fourth year it will be more, but the rate of interest is the same, that is 7%. But for fifth, for five years, if the rate of interest is changed drastically immediately and it is 7.8%, so you will get 16,820 rupees. That is the thing. That is uh, under the head of time deposit. Okay. Now, monthly income scheme is also there. It is giving you 7.7%. .7 that means if you invest 12,000 rupees one time, you will, and uh, based on 7.7%, you will get 77 rupees 
per month. Every month they will give you 77 rupees. Every month. Okay. Every month they will give you. For how many days you will keep the same thing and you will get 77 rupees every month. Okay. That as an interest. Okay. And at the end, for example, if you want to maintain it for 5 years, at the end they will give you 12,000 strength. Okay. That is the scheme, rule of the scheme. In coming to senior citizens savings scheme, in this scheme, seen in this scheme should be open based on the senior citizens only name on the name of senior citizens if any senior citizen is at your home you can invest here also and this is 7.8.7 percent so if you invest 12,000 you will get 8.7 percent but the minimum duration should be 8 years okay you need to keep it for 8 years so the amount at the end you will get 20,352 rupees Okay, that is the amount. Coming to national savings scheme, the rate of interest is 8% if you put it for 5 years and 8.8% .8 if you put it for 10 years. Okay, these are the schemes available for us. And, and there should be some research has to be done for getting how much you will get. That means, for example, uh, in time deposit also, if you you can invest it for five years, so seven percent you will get seven percent every year, or seven point eight percent five years. So which one is the better one? That means I want to invest some amount for five years. So I want to put it in time deposit, but still I want to put it for one year and I will take it back and I will put it in for second year I will take it back third year take it back fourth year take it back and fifth year take it back then we need to see we need to compare whether that is more or seven the total if I put it for total years that means complete five years I will get 7.8 this one is more but uh, surprisingly the above one is more compared to the below one okay that's the thing so in that way we need to see for each and every everything when compared with the other things so that in which scheme or combination of how many, um, these schemes we will get the more amount for example uh, if you see here see senior citizen saving scheme you, we will get 8.7 percent this is it looks more but still if i opt it for national savings certificate for five years and then i will keep that amount in time deposit for next three years definitely i will get the amount more than this senior citizen savings scheme okay in those things those discussion will be done uh, maybe within a couple of days okay i need to prepare for each and everything so i will compare these two things and i will give you the best solution for for getting very good amount okay and these things can be taken from a very good app called post info app Please see this post info app. This can be downloaded in any Android mobile. And this is the app post info. Yeah, the app looks like this, and so many things are there regarding post office. Maybe you can search the post office, postal calculations, tracking, premium calculation, feedback, complaint. All these things will be there, including all these things, and we have interest rates also. If you click on this interest rates, the lab okay third third item here the last one interest rates if you click on that you will get all the interest rates for example for monthly saving options sukhani samruddhi is there if you invest for 1000 and your child is maybe one year so the interest rate is 8.5 so simply the contribution of years is years are 15 so maturity period is 21 years as i already told you the maturity amount is like this 5,578,175 rupees yeah in recurring deposit this is the case and you can see the last one as it is 2018 to 2019 so the final amount is 72,505 and for public provident fund it is 8% so the last one is 3 lakh 39,947 rupees. So these are the monthly saving options available for us.
Sukanya samrudhi. If there is a girl child, otherwise a recurrent deposit or public provided fund. And the one time saving options are also available. So one time saving options are time deposit. So you can save it for one time. So directly you can take twelve thousand. So after one year you will get seven percent interest. So you will get twelve thousand eight sixty two rupees. And after second year you will get this much. And after third year you will get this much. If you want to invest for five years, so he will give you seven point eight percent. And the next option is a monthly income scheme. If you have some amount and you need to get the income monthly, so you want to get the income monthly. So this is the one of the best option, monthly income scheme. Here, if you put it for one lakh twenty thousand, so you will get seven seventy rupees. Okay, that's the option. That's the option we can get it. And here, in monthly income scheme, we can. Invest up to four point five thousand if it is a single investor. If you if it is a joint account, so we can opt it for up to nine lakhs also. Okay, those are the basic rules, and the amount will be invest. The amount will be the interest will be paid monthly. So seventy seven rupees will be paid if you invest for twelve thousand rupees. So this is monthly investment scheme, and the third one is would be. Senior Citizen Saving Scheme. I already explained you. In this, you will get 8.7 percent interest, but you need to wait for eight years. Or at the end of the eighth year, you will get the amount by 8.7 percent. And the next option would be National Saving Certificate. Here, they are opting for five years, ten years, and 9.4 years. So it is Kisan Vikas Patra. Yes, yes. It is Kisan Vikas Patra. It is nine point four percent. So for five years the rate of interest is eight percent. For ten ten years the rate of interest is eight point eight percent. I guess this is the maximum, but we need to wait for ten years. Okay, and before that also, if you want any emergency or if you want any amount, you can directly take that book to any bank so that you you can get some some of the amount as Loan, okay. For and the rate of interest for that loan will be very less compared to other things. That can also that facility is also available for national savings certificate. And this is very good. The based on Kisan Vikas Patra, it's nine point four years. We need to wait to make our amount double. Here I have shown it for one one thousand only. So the one thousand will become two thousand. So the rate of interest he has shown it as 7.7 percent. It is 7.7 percent. So we need to keenly observe each and everything, and we need to find out one method or combination of methods where we can get the more amount in stipulated time period. If if our time period is eight years, then we can compare the senior citizen scheme with some other schemes, so that we can we can know that compared to senior citizen scheme. If you get some combination of these schemes, so you will get more compared to senior citizen scheme. In that way, in like that, we need to see for each and everything based on our amount or based on the time or based on the rate of interest. So all these criteria, we can select any one of the options. So this video, I have explained clearly. So how we can. Invest or we can save some amount in Indian Post monthly. We can save it or we can save it lump sum or one one time payment also. Okay, these are this is the regarding this video Indian Post saving schemes. Thank you for getting twelve hundred plus subscriptions now for not updating. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to share this video, please share it with your friends and family members. And if you haven't subscribed till date, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever we upload any video. Thank you. Thank you so much.